Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the Koshi episode 8. So the Koshi episode 8, Mr. Bokikyo said that he's not happy about the fact that no one left last night. At home, like everybody's great, but somebody going home is like a sign of relief that you're like getting that much closer. No, last night. Oh, no one is join the fairway dance. Join the fairway dance, they have four people. If you remember the last episode, they have like four people. We have Mr. Naze, the new guy. We have Mr. Roland, and we have Mr. George. So the fact that they were all expecting or thinking that the, the French and the English guys slash French guy was going to get eliminated, he didn't get eliminated, so I didn't really think he was, he was going to go away, I think that was, that, that is too soon, I don't think he was going to go away, that what they thought it was, what was going to happen, so it's not happy about the fact that we are still eight soldiers left, it's like, instead of moving forward, there were seven soldiers, they just moved backward, it's like, yeah, oh, back again maybe two weeks before so the both english guy go go head to head on the chess game english guy number one mr margraine and english guy number two slash french guy mr nazi and we see the parents are back and it's going to be like a dinner since the, to celebrate the fact that the parents are back so they gave it to tell us that the parents are back. Evening, there is to be the most exquisite dinner at the castle. As ever, all suitors will be expected to bring their finest Regency manners. Uh, it's going to be a dinner. Okay. So four suitors are going to be chosen after the dinner date. So, and at the end of the dinner day, Miss Rainey is going to choose four suitors when she will spend more time with them. And getting to know them better, um, playing like some fun games. And during the dinner day, the guys are more worried about what sport to use, what to do, so they are not sure if they are doing this thing high or home. So that's that's what worry them the most. And the fact that Miss Miss Remy parents are back it put a little bit more pressure on them that like they want to look proper and press the parent. Someone will try to impress the parent, but he didn't do so well. I'm just saying this can't have good attention, but hard timing. So Mr. Remy make a toast, and he was making a toast, and Mr. Khan literally interrupted me. Oh my God! After he felt so bad and embarrassed, the guy told him that. Oh, you had a good intention, but you wanna have you you choose the whole time. I think your intentions were good, just execution is way yeah, off. Yeah, the execution wasn't the best. <laughs> Gotta learn how to read a room. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't good. He interrupted him and make his own toast. He was that was so bad. He couldn't even speak well. I felt so bad for him. And Mr. Nazé, the French guy. Even before the dinner day, Remy talked to her dad and they were talking about like the French guy. Remy was so... Miss, uh, Mr. Remy, Remy uh, he called that he was so happy that there's another person who speaks French. He was happy about it. He really wanted to meet Mr. Nazar. And Mr. Nazar, Nazar the French speaking guy or second English guy. Make a toast very good. He's such a renaissance man, just like him. He said, Let me say, Mr. Ma, Ma is such a renaissance man. He is good at everything. Monsieur Rémy et Madame Rémy, ça fait tellement plaisir de vous connaître ce soir entre amis et famille. I noticed here yeah, that a lot of the new people, a lot of the people, they don't address them. The more, they, the more we get into the game, the more we get into this courtship episode 8 now, the more she, when we address them by their first name instead of all the small names since she didn't know them well. So 
Danny B, if I say Danny B, you know what I'm talking about, Mr. Bukikyo. Uh, even the new guy, Mr. Mr. Nazar, his first name is Ma Mars. Is it Mars? Mars, something like that. Mars Mars, I traveled from London. You look absolutely gorgeous, if I may say. And during the day, during the dinner day, Mr. Mungwe saw him talking to uh, Miles or Mr. Nazar and they were kind of flirty and stuff like that. Mr. Mungwe interrupted the date and they the little one on one time. And I took his queen and that's what I intend on doing. Oh, you smooth talker. And he said that he beat Mr. Mr. Nasa playing the game of chess and he intend to beat him even more <laughs> by taking his coin, by taking his lady. That was just funny. He's such a sweet guy. He tried to impress Remy, but Remy really plays all the time. All the time. She, she likes Remy, but as a friend. And we have the first suit that has been chosen to be on that little date, Mr. Chapman. And we have Mr. Mowbray. She needs a Mr. Nazar, Nazar and Mr. Bukikyo. Those are the four people that was chosen. So the two English guy and Mr. Chapman and Mr. Bukikyo. So she chose those guys and they went to like a room. She got with like four guys, Miss Remy and Desa. They were playing different games. She was trying to get to know them better. And they were playing <laughs> kind of a funny game. Mr. Nazar, the new guy is so funny. So it's like they have different sides and you have to do this thing, you do that thing. And after that funny game, they were, they were all laughing in the play. Never have that ever. So they're talking about a bunch of things. If you have done something, you have to literally drink because you don't want to say something about that. And you see, no one will fear coming back. And literally make up drink so much that they notice that he have fear of commitment. So that make me slightly worry, you know, worries. And the next day the guy after the game, the rest of the guy were talking about that, about the game, about the fact that Mr. Chapman literally drink finish his drink when we were talking about commitment. So you know, they always have like the one on one talk with the police, and they say that like, he never lived in one place for a while. Even at the dinner table, I don't know, maybe during the one on one chat with the police, so he was saying that like, this is the longest he has been in the place. He lived in a van, he traveled all the time, he stopped at one place. His life, the way he lived, his life, it's not like to be in just one place, you know, he always travel a lot. And, they just have different lifestyle. And Miss Remy, she lives in Seattle. She pretty much she's an engineer. She has a two beautiful apartment, two bedrooms, something like that. She lives a fancy life. She's pretty much settled, you know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but she's very interested in him. But she's worried about the fact that he's scared of coming man. And you know, she, that's the first guy she got closer to. Uh, he even got her into some problem last uh, a few episodes back. She felt the most closest to him and compared to other guys that they are still like talking and getting to know them. Yeah. And then he was worried about that. Oh, and so she was had a chat with her mom. And during the chat, she was talking also about Mr. Warren. And she was talking about Mr. Holland and she said he is too passionate and he's playing my thing. Remy is the one for him. He's so like up there, she's so down there. She doesn't know if he is the right person for her. So far, he says so many, oh, you're the one, you're the one. We can be so happy, blah, 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 blah. He's so, he's so up there. And I don't know, Remy doesn't know if he, He's even the one for her. Uh, after we had the group date, we like four of the student, Mr. Con, Mr. Hunter, Mr. Holland, and Mr. George. We be part of this group day. I love the clothes that they are wearing. <laughs> and they have those um, gun, those long gun, like to, you know, all you have to hunt. The gun that you use to hunt, very long. 
and the mom and the dad, I don't know if the dad was also part, they're gonna be part of this day. Apparently Miss Rainey mom was like a doctor in the military and she's very good. Every so call me some funny joke, that's the family I'm trying to marry into where the mom is a snapper. <laughs> That's the kind of family I'm trying to marry into, where there's a sniper mom. Uh, I just uh, that was funny. They throw stuff in the air, she didn't miss any of them. She was like literally so good. Yeah. After the date, Mr. Hunter, after the group date, Mr. Hunter went to find Miss Rainey. And they were talking. And apparently Mr. Hunt, they were talking about his past daily life. I don't know when exactly he told me that he lived with a woman before. He didn't give her any detail. Of course, he was in a serious relationship before, but she doesn't know if he was married or what, what was, was actually the style of the relationship. She doesn't know anything about that. She wanted to know more about that. And he was kind of like shutting down, he didn't like poking up to her, she's worried about that. And when they talk about that, he still didn't open up. He still didn't reveal whatever happened. And she, she really wanted him to be vulnerable because she really liked Mr. Hunter, but he didn't say anything. So now the day, Mr. Khan talked to the guys that he said he has something that he wanted to talk to Miss Remy about. They were not sure exactly what was it, what was that. And he has like a conversation with the guy. I finally met Remy the day before the fair. No, the morning of the farewell dance, he talked to her. They have kind of like a little picnic outside, like they always like to do. He's open up about the fact that he is. Um, more attracted to the person, not the sex, you know, it's, I don't know how we call that, I don't know how to call that, is it sex free? I, I don't know any of those terms, but... Consider myself sexually fluid. Okay. I don't, I just, I'm so sick of being like labeled by anything, right? For him, it's the person, the connection is with the person, it's not, it's not that the person has to be. Uh, has to be a man or a woman, but is he is attracted to the person? She was very happy about the fact that he was vulnerable to her. He let her know about his past. She really appreciated that. Mr. Khan had always been such a key. He's always been such a joyful guy. She was just happy. Say about that. She said it doesn't change anything. If there's like a connection between them, if at the end he's the one for her, of course she will end up with him. I think he would be an incredible husband. I think he'd be an incredible father, no doubt. I will see you soon, okay? She's not going to reject him because he opened up to her about something like that. So she was, she really appreciated that of him talking to her about that. And we have the farewell dance. The farewell dance, we're going to have for Sula this evening, it's gonna be Mr. Chapman, of course. When he was talking to the guy, he said he's probably gonna be on the fair with this. Whole thing. How did that sit with uh, Miss Remy? <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out at the farewell ball. At least he already know because of the commitment issue. And we have Mr. Mumbling. Mumbling, why? Mr. Holland, the passionate guy. And we have Mr. Hunter. Um, one of my favorite, I felt bad that he didn't open up to Miss Remy. And then she started dance with Mr. Mambo. Yeah, she danced with him. And she, she liked him, but like I said before, mostly as a friend. She doesn't see the love connection between them, so... She let him know about that. She really appreciated everybody was so sad because they love him. He's so cute. Oh, such a good guy. She let him go. Uh, when he bet they came from Miss Remy, when they had a conversation before, like the new guy came with his big fancy cake. You know, they had a conversation. That was the last episode, yeah. Like we're talking about how he cook. 
yeah, he will cook for his wife, he will do this, he will do that. I'm like, oh, I'm like, sign me up, sign me up. Yeah, they really appreciate it. The sister was so sad to see him go. Yeah, that was cute. And Mr. Holland, the only song he lets Mr. Holland go because he's too, he's so far away from her. They are not like fall in love in the same level. It's already like if you say in love with her and she just started, she's like him, but she does like she doesn't love him yet. She's not in love with him yet. She just started to like him. And he like already oh, like oh you're the one, you this, you that. Uh, yeah, she if she for her it was too much. For too much. Even at the end, but I really appreciate the way he said it's okay, I like you. I don't, I don't know, he didn't say he loved me, but the way we were talking, I said, if it's not me. It's okay, it's okay. You're right. You're right. I don't want anything to be forced. You know? I understand. No matter how passionate he is about her, he know when she said no, he really appreciate He said goodbye. He left. Everybody was just so sad. And she went outside, she took him outside, she didn't know the suit her left. She really appreciate all he did for her, all he had done for her. She, they went outside and she said goodbye to him. And she gave him, you remember the one one lady, nice big red jacket that he has. I don't know if he gave it to her or she gave it to him. No, he gave it to her. I don't know. My, I can't figure anything anymore, but... They, they have like a nice fair with them. She, she just a nice goodbye, you know. When she came back, the other two guys, Mr. Chapman and Mr. Hunter, she said she's not gonna say anymore home anymore because she said she said to the two guys, Mr. Chapman and Mr. Hunter, you both are safe. Mr. Hunter and Mr. Chapman. I want you two to stay. I want you two to be here. I really do. Top even me, I'm glad you guys are still here. So we have six, six suitors left. I don't know how many episodes before the show arrived. I'm already exhausted. I know I'm only the off season of the bachelor. I need to rest more. I need to rest more. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of want the season to have only 10 episodes, but the way I see. Now, it can still be 10 episodes because this is the end of episode and we have six people left. I don't think there will be any more sooner. If episode 9 will move two people, it's going to be four people left. Episode 10. I don't know. I'm doing the math. It's going to be maybe um, 10 or 11 or 12 episodes. I don't even know. Anyway, that was the end and the show is a little bit tra a trailer at the end. They show a trailer of Mr. and Miss Remy forget about Mr. Chapman not be ready for commitment. I'm like, oh my gosh, she really liked him. He was like, he came out of nowhere. The whole time he thought, oh my god, that was Mr. Bokikyo. You have the Especially Mr. Bokikyo, he thought that he had that in the back, but it's not actually the case. And um, we saw that. And yeah, I don't know how the next episode is going to look like, but he will be interested and I will be here to recap. Thank you so much guys for continuing watching the coach during this off season of the bachelor and thank you for the one k view on one of the bachelor episode. I know I'm still new into this game and uh, hopefully my video get better and get more view. Hopefully YouTube continue to recommend my video to people. Thank you so much for watching episode 8 of the courtship and I'll see you guys in episode 9. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Bye bye.